So in this video, we're going to try to figure out the oxidation state for each element in KSCN. This is potassium thiocyanate. It's a bit of a challenging one to do. So we'll use these rules here. They should help us with it. If we look at potassium thiocyanate, there's no negative or positive sign. Because of that, it's a neutral compound and all the oxidation numbers, they're going to add up to zero. We also know potassium's in group one. So that's going to be a plus one oxidation number. So we have some information. Then we get to the thiocyanate ion, this SCN. Each one of these elements can have a different oxidation state depending on what it's bonded to. So our rules, they don't really help us figuring this out. There's an additional rule we could look at that might be useful. It says the more electronegative element in a binary compound, and this isn't binary, but we'll use this rule, it should work, uh, gets the number equal to the charge it would have if it were an ion. So we could figure out which is the most electronegative and then figure out what charge it would have as an ion. So nitrogen is more electronegative than carbon and more electronegative than sulfur. It's the most electronegative. And on the periodic table, its ionic charge is three minus. So we could put an oxidation number here of minus three. So we have some more information. Carbon and sulfur are very close. Sulfur is a little bit more electronegative. It's in the same group as oxygen, so it would have a two minus ionic charge. So we could say it has a negative two oxidation number there. So we're left with just the carbon now, and we know that everything is gonna add up to zero. So we could make an equation. We could say one minus two plus X minus three equals zero. So X minus four equals zero and X then would equal a positive four. So we could say that the oxidation state on the carbon in KSCN is a positive four. So these would be the oxidation states for KSCN. You could also look at this whole SCN here as an ion. The whole SCN ion thiocyanate does have a negative one ionic charge. You could use that also maybe to help you figure this out. If you add all these numbers up, you will get zero. And that makes sense because KSCN, that's a neutral compound. It should have all its oxidation numbers add up to zero. So this one's a little tricky. I've seen different answers out there on the internet. This is the one that makes the most sense to me. So there you have it. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.